chapter 3 verse 42 it reads Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in the name of God most gracious most merciful Wa is qalatil malaikatu ya Maryam says behold the angel said O Mary Inna Allah astafaki wa tahharaki wa astafaki ala nisail alameen that God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. Now such an honor is not to be found given to Mary, the mother of Jesus, even in the Christian Bible. That Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was a woman chosen above the women of all nations. Ya Maryam Muknuti, li rabbiki, wasjudi, warka imar raqeen. Says, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. So this is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O Apostle, by inspiration. Where does Muhammad get his knowledge from? About Jesus? He was an illiterate man. A man who didn't know how to read or write. Where did his knowledge come from about what he's speaking? So God Almighty assures him and through him assuring us that this is the revelation of God given to him. His knowledge is from God. The Christian missionary, the evangelist, the preacher, he says, no, Muhammad concocted this book. Muhammad wrote the book. This is his own creation. We say, look, he was illiterate. An ummi. He said, yes, maybe. But you see, even illiterate people, they can be geniuses, men who has had no formal education, learning, he can be a genius, he can be a great orator, he can be a great thinker. So why could he not have dictated, you know, his own creation? He must have come across other, he had heard about other things, spoken about Jesus and the prophets, and from whatever he heard, he can rehash the whole thing in a far more beautiful language than what he has been hearing. Why could he not have dictated it? We Muslims have to agree that that is a possibility. He could have dictated it. But to prove to you that it was not so, I want you, the audience, to agree with me on just one point. I don't want you to accept him as the veritable messenger of God, the true prophet of God. No, no. This is asking too much. Uh, the only one little request I make from you is to admit that Muhammad was an Arab. That's all. Is there any difficulty? Anybody, please tell me if there's a difficulty in you accepting that Muhammad was an Arab. He was not an Indian. He was no Eskimo. He was no Greek or Roman. He was an Arab. Any difficulty? Any difficulty? I want to know from you all. No difficulty. That is all. Thank you very much. Now, this Arab, see, now we analyze this Arab, in the first instance, is telling other Arabs. If he wrote the book, if he uttered these words, then he's telling other Arabs. He wasn't talking to the Malaysians, Indonesians, Africans. No, he was talking to the other Arabs, his own people. And he's telling the other Arabs that Jesus, I'm sorry, Mary, the mother of Jesus, she was chosen above the women of all nations. Not his own wife, or mother, or daughter, whom we Muslims believe, Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet wasallam, peace be upon him, will be the leader of the women of paradise. That's our belief. But her name is even not mentioned in the book. And he is going out of his way to tell his people that a Jewess, she was chosen above the women of all nations. I'm asking, please account for that. Why would an Arab go out of his way to provoke his own people and go and honor a woman of his a mother of his opposition, if there was such a thing? Telling them, that not my wife, not my daughter, not my mother, but Mary, the mother of Jesus. I say, account for that. If he wrote the book, why would he do such a silly thing? From the worldly point of view, it's silly. Because to me, and to you, to me, my mother, there's no better woman in the world has ever been than my mother. Or my wife, or my daughter. Why yours? Why Jimmy Swaggart? You know, my opponent in a debate on Monday night. Why his? Unless... I am forced, I am commanded by a higher source to say that Jimmy Swaggart's mother or his wife Frances is the best woman in the world. In the sight of God, she is the immaculate one. Who would make me to say that? 
Only God can force me to say that. On my own, never. My mother, my wife, my daughter. You agree? This man is honoring Mary, the mother of Jesus. يا مريم قنتي لربك واسجدي واركعي مع الراكعين